What's up guys, Jordan here in an undisclosed location in Utah, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create time lapses on your Mac. Now I won't be showing you how to take the time lapses, I'll just be showing you actually how to do the post-production on your Mac and how to actually turn your video or photos into a time lapse. Now before we get started, there's two main types of time lapses. The first is you simply record a video, then you take it and uh, you just speed up that video to however fast you want it. The second way, and this is how you get really nice quality time lapses, you actually take a series of pictures and then you just compile those pictures together. Um, so each picture is just one frame and then you compile that together to create the video. Now there's a lot of uh, tutorials out there on how to record or actually how to take the pictures for the time lapses, especially for that second one that I'm talking about, but none of them really go over how exactly to compile the pictures. A lot of them use high-end software that costs anywhere from a few hundred to you know upwards to six hundred dollars. And it's just kind of intimidating for the average person. So today I'm going to be showing you first how to just uh, take your video and just speed it up. I'm also going to be showing you how to take that series of pictures and put it together in uh, using an application that only costs 30 bucks. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on over to the Mac. Now to turn a video that you've recorded for a long time into a time lapse, it's actually incredibly, incredibly simple. All you need is a really long video that you've recorded that would look good sped up. Certain stuff, it just wouldn't look good as a time lapse. But anyways, this content right here I recorded when I was in LA this summer uh, with the GoPro mounted on our van, and it's just a uh, drive lapse essentially. And it's pretty cool, you can see that uh, eventually Right there, you see the skyline. So it's it's pretty cool, but you don't want to watch this for 25 minutes. It really needs to be sped up. So what are we going to do? Well, iMovie actually can do this for us. So uh, open up iMovie, go up to File, then Import, Movies. And here's a cool little tip. If you already have uh, the video that you want to import into iMovie, select it in the Finder, simply pull this window over here and then just drag it into this import window and it will select the video so then you don't have to go searching through within this import window now I'm going to copy the file into this existing event right here then hit import alright so here is the footage imported uh, now I'm just going to create a new event real quick now simply drag in all the footage and another quick tip, hold down shift when you select a clip and it will select the entire clip instead of just one little piece. So drag that in and now double click on the clip and hit convert entire clip uh, under the section speed. And then you'll need to wait for it to convert this entire clip uh, so we can speed it up and that will take quite a while. So now it is done optimizing it for speed adjustment and we can now adjust the speed. So if you move it to the left towards the turtle, it will slow the video down. And if you move it to the right towards the rabbit, it will actually speed it up. And so you can see the adjustment uh, in the total time right here. So six minutes, three minutes, and you can actually make it faster by typing in your own number. So we can bring it down to two minutes or one minute, let's see. So you can only take it up to 2,000%. Uh, percent. But anyways, this will be quite a bit faster and it'll look really, really cool. So as you can see, just zipping along on the LA freeway right there. So as you can see, this turns what would be really just bland and boring footage into something really, really cool. And as you can see, it's very simple to do. Simply import the footage and adjust the speed, speed it up. Very simple to do when you just have a long video that you want to speed up.
Now on to how to make what might be referred to as a professional time lapse. Uh, again, just a quick refresher, time lapse where you compile a group of pictures taken over a period of time together into a video, not just speeding up a video. And if you'd like me to go into more depth about time lapses and information about that, just let me know down in the comments below, but there's lots of different videos out there already about that. But if you do want one, just let me know. Anyways, uh, I have this file of pictures that I took actually the night before I recorded the intro in Arches National Park in Utah. Uh, 30 second exposure to get this one shot and I want to compile all these different pictures together so how would I do that uh, in iMovie it doesn't allow you to because you're not able to uh, reduce the time for individual pictures low enough so I don't want to buy expensive software what do I use well I'll tell you what I use I use sequence it's really cool software really powerful and very simple to use so and show you how to use it right now. All you need to do is drag the folder with all your pictures into this little drop zone area. It'll load up the photos and automatically uh, start compiling them together to make a video. You can see all the different photos right here. If there's a few duds or ones that you don't want in the time lapse at the beginning or the end, you just select it and hit delete and it'll delete it from the time lapse. Uh, what I really like about this software is it doesn't just compile the photos because QuickTime does that, but this actually adds in two really powerful features. Uh, Deflicker is the first one, very powerful. You simply select it and it'll actually deflicker the photo. So if there's one that you know is a lighter, uh, brighter a uh, few frames it'll actually reduce that so automatic deflickering and then uh, automatic white balance so really really cool and it's already done compiling so we can actually hit play and it'll actually give us a preview it isn't perfect uh, it's kind of jittery but it gives us a uh, overview of what our time lapse will look like and then you also have some settings right here for the frame rate I'm gonna actually choose 24 frames per second and now to export you simply hit this export button right here you're able to ch uh, choose and change the resolution of the video and do 1920 by 1080 like I said 24 frames per second h.264 encoding and then scaling mode aspect fill then you just hit next and you choose where you want to save it and what you want to call it and then just hit save now, once it's done exporting, you actually can view the finished time lapse right here within sequence. So let's hit play and check it out. So there it is. It's uh, really impressive when you're able to compile pictures taking over a few hours into a few seconds like this and it's so incredibly simple with sequence now if you want to see more time lapses and uh really the full power of sequence i made a time lapse compilation of over 15 different places across america on my trip this summer and i used sequence to compile all the different pictures so anyways guys that is it um I don't think there's anything more for me to say. So anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. Be sure to tell me what other videos you want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully very soon. Anyways, guys, I'll see you. Bye.